In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the point of view binoculars effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got some footage imported on your timeline, as you can see, I've just got this basic footage of me looking out over London. So once you've got your footage imported, you want to make sure that is on video layer one. And then from there, you want to go into new item. So that is here. If you can't see that, then drag this over here to expose these other options. So select the new item button and we'll go new black video and we'll press OK on this. Then we'll drag the black video over onto video layer two and we'll extend the duration of this over to the right so that it is the same duration as the video below. And then from here, we'll just go up to opacity. We'll select the free draw bezier tool and we'll just draw out an infinity symbol or the binocular shape in the middle of this black video. So we just want to make sure that we do it in the middle. Don't go around to the edges because we're going to increase the scale later on. So we're just going to do this shape here. This doesn't need to be perfect. That can be super rough because we're gonna add some feathering to clean this up later on. But once you're happy with the look of that, you can just go ahead and select inverted. You can move this mask up a little and add some feathering. And then adding this feathering, as you can see, is adding feathering to the edge of the black video. So we're going to increase the scale of the black video to around 115, 120. And as you can see, that is the basic binocular shape now taking place. Of course, you can see there are some jagged edges. So feel free to go in and just adjust some of these. But once you're happy with the look of that, we can now move on and we can go ahead and create an adjustment layer for a blur effect. So we're just going to move this black video layer up onto video layer three. We'll go new item again, go adjustment layer. Press OK on this and we'll drag the adjustment layer onto video layer two. Now we'll just drag that to the same duration as the other two layers. We'll go effects, search for blur. And there's many different blur effects here that you can choose from, but I'm just going to go for the obsolete fast blur. Drop that onto the adjustment layer and then we'll just pull the blur in us up to around 20% and then we'll select repeat edge pixels. Now from here, you just want to select the free draw bezier tool and we're just going to do a very rough mask on the inside of this binocular layer. Like so. Again, this doesn't need to be perfect. This can be very rough. From there, we'll just go ahead and select inverted. We'll increase the mask feathering and then we'll go into mask expansion and we'll increase the mask expansion so that this solid line here hit the edge of the black video, like so. Then we can go back into our adjustment layer and if it doesn't look blurry enough, we can just increase the blurriness. So as you can see, that's catching the edges. Of course, I think I've done mine a little bit too big, so I'm just gonna pull the mask expansion down to around, let's go to around 70 and then we'll increase the feather again. And that's just adding this blur effect just on the edge. Now on this adjustment layer, we're also going to add some levels. So search for levels, we'll drop levels onto that adjustment layer again. And we're just going to pull the RGB gamma that is currently at 100, just down a little bit. And we'll pull that down to around 70. Now, same thing again, we're just going to go into the free draw bezier tool. And we're just going to draw a rough mask around the outside of this binocular layer. Like so. Then you just want to go ahead and press inverted. You can increase the feathering and then once more, we're just going to increase the mask expansion. So essentially, we're just darkening the edges of that and then we're just adding a little bit of blur as well. Now, essentially, that is the effect now complete, but I would like to add another layer of awesome on top of this effect, and that is to add some texture onto the glass. So we'll go into our project window and we'll go into our finder and we'll just drag a layer of scratch and noise onto our project. So as you can see, that is this layer here. And you can just go into Google and search for scratch texture layer or dust texture layer or glass scratch texture layer, something along those lines, and you'll find something like this. Just drop this onto your footage on video layer two, making sure the adjustment layer is on three and the black is on four. Go ahead and select that layer. We'll go into effect controls, go blend mode, select screen, and that's going to screen out the black. You can just reposition this if you like. So I'm going to reposition this to about there. We'll go into effects and search for blur. And we're going to drop the fast blur on this layer. 
and we'll increase the blurriness just a little bit. So we'll increase that to around 10. So you can still see it, but it's not quite solid. Then we'll pull the opacity down just so it's not as noticeable. So somewhere around here. And there you go, that's going to add this texture layer on top of the effect. Of course, if you need to increase the blurriness, then feel free to increase the blurriness. And of course, we can create a mask around this as well. So if we select the free draw Bezier tool in opacity and create that mask that we did before, it doesn't need to be perfect. As you can see in my example, this is definitely not perfect. Then we'll just go ahead and press inverted, add some feathering, increase the mask expansion if you like, add a bit more feathering. And there you go, that's a pretty solid looking effect. Now, of course, if you wanted to go ahead and adjust this effect, you can go into the black video layer, go into that mask, and you can just adjust the mask to make it perfect if you like. It's completely up to you, but once you're happy with the look of that, that is the effect essentially now complete. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support, and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.